you about to watch me put up curtains again. Okay, this is my fourth time doing this because for some reason, I'm gonna show you these holes that I've made in this wall. I cannot get this thing to stay. I have used anchors and it still doesn't, it doesn't stay. They falling down about no less than three times. This is my fourth try. And if this don't work, I'm just not gonna have curtains in my room. That's just gonna be it. So I first bought this beautiful, get into the details of this curtain rod. Look at how it shines and, and gleams, right? I wanted this. It's too heavy, first of all. I just be doing the most sometimes. Like, I think I got a house or something. The stuff I be ordering is just all so big. So I had to order a new one. Now the new one I got is skinnier than this. It's less than an inch. This is probably like, I, I measured it, I forgot what it is. It's probably like inch and three quarters maybe or something. So I have a new one. Plain and simple one. This ain't nothing fancy. It's skinnier. And this is how the ends look. Very plain, Jane. So I'm gonna assemble this rod. Please let this be the last time, God. Please let this be the answer. Okay, so I have the rod together, both sides. This is what I bought. These are five pounds. They hold five pounds. And then they come with strips. This is what the ones that it comes with look like. It's kind of flimsy. We're not gonna use these. I ordered a separate pack of picture hanging strips. These are thicker. These are thicker. And they have this Velcro on the back. So, the package that comes with the strips that I ordered, the picture hanging, tells you the weight that it can hold. So two pairs together can hold up to eight pounds and four pairs together can hold up to 16 pounds. This is gonna make my curtain be able to stay. At least this is my thinking. This is what should happen. The new rod fits in here like that. The old rod, this is why you can't get one that's too thick because the old rod, see, it wouldn't fit. First, for to demo it, I'm just gonna put it on right quick and stick it to the wall and then take it off so you can see how easy it's supposed to come off. But before I do that, let me show you the Velcro. To put them together, you see the Velcro on the back? You put it together and then you hear a click, right? You press. You hear that? That's how you're gonna be able to put two together and four together. I've seen them used, but I personally, have not used it. Okay, that's one. You have to put another one because there's not even a way to make one stick. So I'm gonna press the, the new one, the second one rather, on here. Put it on the wall. Press. Okay. And then now the instructions say, you're supposed to lift it off. And then you're supposed to press for like 30 seconds. We're gonna take it right off anyway, so I'm not gonna let it press for 30 seconds. But this is what you would do, and you would just you slide this back on. That's what you do. And take it off. You're supposed to pull the cap. So oh, wait, there's two tabs. So I put two together, so I guess I have to pull both. Ow, I popped my finger. <laughs> okay, I have to pull the other tab to get the other one off. Ah, it's off. And it's nice and smooth. Nothing there, no evidence. 
Okay. So now I'm gonna do it for real on the wall. First, I have to mark where I need it to go. So I'm gonna do that. I'll be right back. Okay, I have put up two already. This is my last one. I put four. See, this is how it looks, it's thick. Now let me show you, I'm about to adhere it to the ball. I put those two up. And the third one <clears throat> is gonna go right here. Okay, let me just, let me just press it in. Okay, I'm gonna hold it for 30 seconds. Okay, then put it back on. There it is. <laughs> okay, so that's on. Okay, looks pretty good to me. It says wait an hour and let the adhesive build. So I'm not gonna hang the curtain rod just yet. It's the next day. I'm just now about to hang my curtains. I put the command hooks up last night and it was late. It said let it set for an hour and that's what I did. Then I went to sleep. <laughs> so now I'm gonna hang the curtains and we'll see if it stays up. did it i have curtains up once again yay let's just hope this time it doesn't fall down again the only thing is for this tie back i just had to tie it here because see how it's supposed to it's supposed to be able to just hook somewhere but you see i tried to put a nail last time and i couldn't do it i couldn't make it stay either <laughs> so I'm not even gonna try that part again. I'm just satisfied that I got the curtain up and I'm not gonna push my luck. But you see, it looks nicer if it could just be like this and then attached to something here that could hold it. But you know, it is what it is. I have curtains, I'm happy. I did wanna point out something. This uh, rod and these hooks make it where the curtain is very close to the wall. So, you know, like moving it back and forth, it's a little tight because it's brushing up against the wall. Now, if you have uh, smaller curtain circles, these things, grommet, grommets, I think that it might move a little bit more freely. But so just be, uh, just be mindful that however your curtains actually hook on, however they attach at the top, that this thing is really close. See how close it is. Okay, but other than that, all looks well. And so I will link everything below. The rod that I use, the size command strips, and also the extra sturdy picture um, sh um, strips that go with the hooks. I'm gonna link all of that below. So if you have a project like this, and literally this could be a 15 minute job. It was like a 15 minute job, except for the wait time. And I didn't have to wait as long as I waited. So yeah, you could have curtains up in under 30 minutes with no headaches, no stress. My curtains are a little wrinkled because they've been spent more time on the floor than they have hanging up, but they're up now. Thanks for watching you guys and please hit like and share this video with someone you know that just moved into an apartment.